Egg yolks have been described as one of the most nutrient-dense, antioxidant-rich, and vitamin-laden foods on the planet. Fish also chomp on eggs whenever they get the chance. Egg fly patterns imitate these nutritious food sources, but also have the benefit of appealing to the moods of anadromous fish through brilliant colors. This video will review and show you how to tie the nine main egg pattern styles glow bug, wrapped, filled or bubbled, dubbed, sucker spawn, pierced, hot glue, attached, and peg beads. First up, glow bug style. Start by spinning your thread clockwise. Now take a section of egg yarn and place it over the thread and move it up to the hook. Tighten down with thread wraps, then twist the yarn so that it lies across the hook. You can repeat this process on the bottom if you like, but now whip finish and tie off. Pull the yarn tight and make a slight twist, then cut the yarn. The higher you cut, the bigger and less dense the egg. You can add a piece of egg yarn in the middle to form a dot before you cut, or go ahead and make a dot by hand with a marker. Number two is wrapped fibers, usually Chanel. Tie down your chenille of choice and wrap your thread forward. Wrap forward to make a little ball. Tie off and this is the egg. Number three is a veiled or bubbled egg. You can do this tied down on one side, which is veiled, or both, which is bubbled. Take the fly that we just tied as the underfly. Prepare some egg veil or simply white egg yarn. The more you have, the less translucent it will be. Position it over the egg pattern in 360 degrees. Do one or two loose wraps, then tighten down. Cut the yarn, create a head, and whip finish. Now, cut the yarn with curved or straight scissors with angles, once on the bottom and once on top. You can then make some cleanup cuts if you like. Number four is a dubbed egg with straight dubbing or spun in a dubbing loop. Simply wrap the dubbing into a ball, apply more dubbing if necessary, and tie off. That's it, you're done with this fly. Number five is sucker spawn style. This is made through a series of loops with the material of your choice. Like with the egg yarn, wrap the material, in this case chenille, around the thread. Bring the material to the top so that it goes out toward the vise. You can also use one strand if you like. In this case, just tie it in toward the vise. The next step will be to wrap forward just enough to tie off your first loop. Make the loop and cinch it down. Then wrap forward and repeat the process.
There are three sections on this particular pattern, but you can make as many or as few as you like. Cut the chenille and apply a little bit of super glue to any thread wraps. Number six is the simplest fly pattern ever known to man. A pierced ball of yarn or a soft egg. Simply drive the hook point through the yarn or soft egg. Apply a little super glue to a thread base if you like. That's it, a 10 second fly. Number seven is a hot glue gun egg. Put a drop of hot glue onto the hook. I like to turn the hook a few times to position the glue as far on top of the hook as possible within reason. You can dip it in water if you like, but experiment to see what you like best. Number eight is a plastic bead attached with mono thread. Thread a bead onto your mono thread. Now simply lay a thread base and cut the tag end of the mono. Lay the mono with the bead forward and tie back over the mono thread. Whip finish and you're done. The final method, number 9, is not classified as a fly on the Brooks River in Alaska, but it is a bead pegged with a toothpick or a special plastic peg. Thread the bead onto your line. Now tie your hook onto your line and slide the peg into the bead and cut both ends. About 2 inches is pretty good distance between the hook and bead. And that does it for egg patterns. You can mix and match these techniques or use them to come up with innovations of your own. Don't forget to take a look at our new site to flyfish.com and the egg pattern article that shows you the best materials and colors for these patterns. Also subscribe here or below to see new videos for all types of fish, 